This is the Cut Right Marina. It's Saturday morning and we're loading up kayaks, Larry and I, to put in and meet Steve and Mike over in the Deem. As you can see, the water is about, last time we checked, it was 11 foot above summer pool, so it's really high. So that means there won't really be a shoreline per se. We'll just have to get up in the trees when we get to where we're going. Should take, uh, I don't know, it's about two to two and a half miles. So we're looking probably hour, hour and a half to get back there, but we're not gonna get in any hurry. So uh, we'll see you out on the water. That's what you know, Mike said. We're going to have to get our, our malaria here. shots after uh, we get back. And we had to walk for at least two or three hundred yards through it. It's like, like we're in Africa, man. <laughs> That's actually part of the trail you can see runs up the hill. Uh, it's underwater down here. Like I said earlier, the, the water is about 11 or 12 foot above Summer Pool. This is Lake Monroe Reservoir, which is just south of Bloomington, Indiana. And this land over here, where we're going to be, is part of the Dean Wilderness, which is Seems to be our stomping ground where we usually meet people from all over Indiana in our group. It's a, kind of like the center point. Up the hill they go. All right. This is my turn. Hard to make out. If you look real far down there, that's the water. And way up here on this ridge is where our campsite is. We stashed the uh, kayaks down there. Came up this trail. And this is at the Patton Cave camp area campsite. It's in the backwoods here in the Deem National Wilderness. And here's the setups for everybody. That's uh, Steve's War Bonnet Double Air XLC. It's a uh, I laid in it a while ago. It's fantastic. You can see it still has my uh, poncho liner under quilt on it where we were testing it to see if it would work. And there's my hammock bliss. Left the bridge hammock at home this weekend again. And there's Mike's sure what he has. I think it might be a war bonnet. Blackbird as well with a Kelty tarp. And over here is Steve's setup. It's a uh, tarp that he made. It's uh, perfect for a bridge hammock. It has the cat cuts which allow it to get way out to each side which the bridge hammocks require. And that is a uh, Warbonnet Ridge Runner Bridge Hammock. 
and then up the hill. One of the guys sitting there, politicking probably, who knows. Anyway, nice campsite, beautiful campsite. Well, we just came down that great big hill that I showed you earlier, but that's uh, nothing compared to what Steve and Mike have to do. They've got about a two and a half mile hike out with their backpacks, which two to three hundred yards of that is in uh, knee deep water. So uh, we've actually got, got it made here with the kayaks. We're just uh, two and a half miles of uh, kayaking back on a nice flat lake and uh, enjoy the scenery. So uh, here we are, we've loaded back up. Give you an idea. That's the hill we came down. Here's the kayak, got the GoPro and everything. There's Larry out there. And uh, this is normally, when the water's not up as high as it is, this is the uh, entrance up to Patton Cave, which is about halfway up the hill. And again, this is Lake Monroe, south of Bloomington, Indiana. And I guess we're going to get the paddling. some wind feels great yeah makes it harder paddling but it sure feels good looks like we're gonna have a headwind for the last
Well, while Larry's getting his boat, I'll give you a quick tour of uh, my kayak here. This is a Viper kayak that I actually just bought at Menards. I think I've, if you've watched any of my videos, I've probably told you about this before. Inexpensive, extremely stable. It's a 10 foot, four inch kayak. 31 inches wide on the bottom and it's uh, extremely stable. It's a good boat. So as you can see how I've got my setup. There's the GoPro. It's got a pretty nice cushion seat. There's my cooler. Got the cell phone and a waterproof thing. That pink thing is a sticker you have to buy to be on Lake Monroe. Uh, back here is a, a hatch. It's not dry, but it keeps everything contained. That's where all the backpacking stuff is camping stuff I should say up front stuffed in underneath the, uh, the cooler up there on the sides way up in there on both sides this goes up into the front of the boat is uh, a dry sack that has uh, some more gear so it's real stable does real well we just went two and a quarter miles in 58 minutes on flat water the last I don't know three quarters of a mile or so it was a pretty good headwind. I don't know if you saw from the video, but it actually had a wake up. So that made it a little more interesting. So we're gonna load up and uh, Larry's heading back toward Indy and I'm heading for Southern Indiana and uh, we'll see you next time, later.